Gajaha, hi guys, it's Janae and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to episode 4 of Our Dining Table. I've been enjoying this series a lot. It's just, it's so fun. It's just a sweet story and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us with this episode. Before we do get into it, however, I just want to say a quick massive thank you to all amazing patrons and channel members. And if you're interested in joining other of those for early access and uncut reactions to things like Our Dining Table, the links for it will be in the description below along with my social media and my peer box and if you want to subscribe as well is greatly appreciated but now without further ado let's get into today's video you're brushing your teeth at your kitchen sink okay interesting Oh, okay, he lives in a one, like a studio apartment. That makes more sense. Oh, so he's not even, um, it's not his blood relation, he's adopted. I don't know why, for me, that makes it even worse. Because, like... Hmm... <sighs> this is such a difficult topic. But, let me attempt. Basically... Abuse isn't okay. Case in point, we're, like, we're not debating over that at all. But somehow it's worse for me when... Like, you go, go out of your way to adopt someone and then you abuse them. Great! Wonderful. We love that. That's not infuriating at all. Oh, hi. I like her shawl. Oh, and he has a really nice tie today. His important rice bowl. <laughs> oh, I'm just realizing that person was his dad. I didn't make the connection originally because I thought it was just like a random passerby. But now I recognize. Oh, damn, okay. I think there's a bird or something singing, but it's a very high pitched, weird sound. If you can hear that, I'm sorry. <laughs> No pressure. I have to say, it's nice that, like, it's so obvious he started going there for Tane's sake, but that uh, Miru is also like made his way into his heart. I don't know how to say it, but basically it's just, it's nice because Minoru's really also like been so kind to um, Yutaka in a way that, in ways that obviously mean a lot to Yutaka, that it makes sense that he's also like starting to become important facets of this entire dynamic. <laughs> so cute. I can't deal. This is just making my heart feel so full. ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Tane and Miller, but it's now grown because he's opening up to people at his workplace and he's, you know, being noticed by a local grandma and, you know, things like that. It's just, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's also nice to kind of see him grow because he's I'm sorry I don't know how this like show has me thinking so much because it's such a like straightforward wholesome show but at the same time it's so well written in my opinion but anyway um but the the fact that before he would le be like previously apologizing because this is a new recipe and he's not sure about it and uh, he hopes it's okay and so on and he's kind of like letting go of that stress around them uh, it seems <laughs> You guys still need to make the curry. Yeah. Put so much effort into it, like but it turned out so cute. Yeah, especially with the trauma that he has, it's quite a big step forward for him, in my opinion. But it is making me more and more nervous for if there is an eventual encounter with his parents. own world half the time. It's so cool. I don't know why I got this sudden fear that he might accidentally encounter his family in this supermarket. <laughs> I envy people like that who, who like can eat anything and genuinely enjoy it. Oh damn. You know when I said it I wasn't thinking it would actually happen. <laughs> mm, that's great. The fact that they live so close to each other, that's all. Oh, it was already... Wow. Okay, so that's from his mom. I was wondering, but also, like, can the brother not start a awkward very confrontational discussion in front of bystanders that that's uh. <sighs> can't help but want to take y yutaka's side because i don't know what the what their side is and i've only seen bad things from yutaka's side
it's interesting because I've just realized here we always see them eating with knives and forks but at home Yutaka's always eating with chopsticks if he hadn't learned how to work with knives and forks that would be very like thoughtless of them to like have issue with him still learning Wow, you're a piece of work. So the issue might not be with the dad, but might be with the brother. Shane, he's trying to be subtle about it, but it's not really... Yeah, that was very clearly him avoiding. I'm intrigued to see how this curry is gonna turn out. Dividing it like that. Because me, I just usually put it on top of the rice. <laughs> I really like the sweatshirts that Minoru usually has on. <laughs> I love how his focus is so much on Yotaka. Such a character, oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this because I do feel like it might be helpful for Yutaka if he talks to someone about it, but. Yeah, I was about to say. Poor dad. なんかすいません。え、あ、いいのいいの。言い方がもう家族みたいなもんだと思って遠慮しないで。ね。うん。これお湯で薄めたらいけるか。ああ、水分たっぷりのサラサラの大都会で、おい。無理でしょ、そん
Am I hoping for too much? Damn it! Okay, so that was the episode, and I have to say, like, I probably should have guessed it because we're almost halfway through the series, so it would make sense for, like, the midpoint conflict to start rearing its head in this episode, and then, like, fully emerge in the next episode. But somehow, even though, like, I had the thoughts, I didn't actually think the thought would realize itself. Um, and yeah, it's just... Uh, I don't know, I really hope that we get to see Yutaka's like healing journey and I'm, I'm assuming that we probably will because why would they bring it up if there isn't like some sort of resolution to it by the end of the show but yeah it's just it's it's very painful and I think this is what like really takes the show to another level than what it could have been had it not had that element uh, but the fact that you know, it is, it's a very wholesome show, but it has these like deep and clearly like quite uh, sad moments that just add another like level and thought to it. So yeah, I just, I really enjoyed this episode. Another wonderful episode. It's also just so nice to see like Minoru and Yutaka's like developing relationship. Um, and I do want to see hopefully maybe if i'm not asking for too much uh yutaka may be starting to confide in minero bit by bit in the next episode so yeah we'll see i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one so Jin.